Let's work instructional video. You and your IEP. Slide appears with a picture of PJ Swan and a quote. Thank you for coming to my IEP meeting. I am practicing my self-advocacy skills and I plan this meeting. What is an IEP? An IEP is an individualized education program at your school. It plans and provides supports for students with disabilities to help reach their school goals. It is for students with disabilities from age 3 to 21 who need supports in public schools. What is an IEP meeting? Once a school year, an IEP meeting is set up to help you and your support team review and update your IEP plan. The meeting goes over your goals and plans, as well as the services you will receive to support you. Before you turn 16, you will meet with your IEP team to create a transition plan. What is the IEP transition plan? In high school, a transition plan is added to your IEP before you turn 16. A transition plan includes your goals for after high school and picks out support services to help you achieve your goals. The transition plan is based on your needs, strengths, skills, and interests. Who leads your transition plan? It is your IEP and it is your transition plan. And you have the right to lead your own transition plan. There are benefits in leading your IEP since it is about your future. Ask your IEP team to help you lead your own plan. Benefits of leading your transition plan. High school students who lead IEP meetings do better at reaching their goals, including more students who earn a high school diploma, more students who go on to college, and more students who make more money in jobs after high school. Our networking team has created some steps so you can reach your goals, earn a high school diploma, go to college if you want to, and make more money in jobs after high school. Let's go over those steps now. Step 1. Understand your IEP. Ask questions the more you know about the IEP, the more you can lead it. Use your team, ask your counselor or teacher to help you know more about your IEP. Get ready, learn about the rights you have as a student with a disability. Lead on, learn about your IEP and lead your transition plan. Step two, know yourself. Make a, a list of your strengths and interests. What are you good at? What do you like to do? What helped you learn? What is hard to do? What hobbies or chores do you like? Ask your friends and the people who know you to help you answer those questions. Step three, create goals for your IEP. Create goals for schoolwork and living on your own. Your goals should be based on your strengths, interests, and needs. Use your goals as a basis for your IEP meetings. Begin thinking about your future after school. What will you do for work? Where will you live? Step four, get ready to lead your IEP. Take the lead, you can. Choose the parts of the IEP you would like to lead. Make a list of goals to, and use them to help you find what you need to support you at school. Let your IP team know when you need help or have questions. Ask a team member to help you share your goals and lead your IP meeting. Remember, you do not have to lead the whole IP meeting. Step five, practice leading your IEP and transition plan. Practice the parts of the IEP that you are going to lead. Use your own words and pictures to help you tell your story and help your team know who you are. Show them what you are good at. Talk about what you want to do in the future, including work. Ask them to help you with the hard stuff. 
Thank them for being on your team. Slide appears with a picture of PJ Swan smiling, holding her business cards. It says PJ Swan, job coach assistant, work experience, Lodi Unified School District. In 2014, I started leading my IEP meetings and made a presentation for every meeting. In the beginning, I was very nervous, but I wanted to share my goals to share that I wanted to work. Do the best you can. Don't be nervous and you can do it. You can tell your story and you can work too. Self-advocacy and your IEP. Remember, your IEP meeting is about you. Having a disability does not limit what you can do with your life. You can have a great future and you can work. The IEP is a tool to help you and your team make it happen. Let's work, California. This project was supported in part by grant number 2001 CASCDD from the U.S. Administration for Community Living, Department of Health and Human Services, Washington, D.C., 20201.